Hey folks, welcome to my new studio setup. It's bright, it's light, colorful, spacious, everything I want. And for the very first video, we're gonna check out the new Tone Studio editor for the Boss Katana amplifiers. This basically means you can get in there and do deep editing of any of the effects. And probably more importantly, is you can choose from 55 different Boss effects and you can implant your favorite Katana amplifier with any of those effects that you choose and then you can save them as tone sets on your computer. So it's quite crazy what you can do. And we're not talking about just basic effects either. We're talking about the same thing that would cost two, three, four hundred dollars in an individual pedal with all of the parameters, uh, all of that is available. And instead you're getting it in an amplifier that actually costs about five hundred dollars. So it's pretty insane. Uh, essentially, uh, we're going to have a look at the range of effects that you have and I'll just show you how quick and easy it is to load them in. We'll have a listen to some of the effects and uh, I'll show you how deep you can go in terms of the parameters. It's pretty wild. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. This is the Boss Tone Studio for the Katana. So, it basically mirrors the amplifier in this top section so we can manually get in here and adjust anything on the amp as if it was right in front of us. And then the bottom section refers to the effects that we can use. And over here is the four channels that the amp has, or four patches if you like. Plus panel means whatever you change here, just where it is at that exact point in time. So you kind of got four different save sounds, plus one that you can just do on the fly. All right, so down here from left to right, effects, First of all, this is the different effects you can run at any point in time on the amplifier. Now, see this effects section here? This is what you actually have on the panel of the amp. So let me just explain this. Uh, you can run a reverb, and then you can run either a delay or one of the other effects. And then you can run either the booster, which is a booster or one of the drives, or modulation. So you've got one, two effects, plus the reverb. And then the way that it works is, if I turn these off for a moment, as soon as you turn this on, just by turning it up, you're on the booster side. So whatever you've chosen in here, you're gonna have the option of on the left side. Once you go past that, it turns that off and it goes onto the modulation. So whatever you've got that you've set up here in the modulation effects, that's what you can choose. Likewise with this, you can have delays up to halfway, and on the right hand side, you're going to have an effects, whatever you've chosen in this category here. So you can only have you know, one here, one here, plus the reverb. And then as far as these colors go, that refers to the buttons here. So you have three different options. So let's say I'm on the modulation. Whatever I've set up in the modulation, I've got three different choices. Whatever I've set up for the red, yellow, and green. And then by pushing the button on the amp, you can quickly change through those. And then you can obviously just save all this as that particular patch. So there is a lot of options up your sleeve. So there's the first part. Now, if I have a look at chain, this is pretty clever. It gives you three different choices in terms of how you want the effects chain to go. Uh, so basically, you know, if you want to have the boost, uh, which boost or an overdrive, you want to have that where it would normally go before the amp. However, if you wanted to have it afterwards as say a volume boost, you could do that. If you wanted to have your delay, for example, or your modulation effects before the amp, some people like that, some people prefer to have those after the amp. So that's kind of a bonus to have that sort of choice. Now where it gets really fun is when you get into the editors for each of the effects. So this is where you can get in there and really detail the particular sound that you want particularly like having EQ choices over all of the overdrives. So you can go through here. These are the choices of the overdrives. And depending on what they are, you're gonna to wanna to get in there and dial them up differently. And this is pretty clever. You can either just get onto the actual knob there and do it, or you can drag the slider up and down. And it also shows you what you've got here. So you can really go through in very fine increments if you wanna get right down to the nitty gritty. Nothing better for fun. Alright, why don't we 
check out what that particular patch is actually made up of. So we're going to start over here at the effects and we can see that in the modulation section, this little guy here is turned on, which is the compressor. We can see that with the red light lit up here and the fact that the knob is turned to the right hand side, which is the mod section. If I went over to the left, you can see that it's the booster section that's on. So we're over in the compressor section. So then if I go across to the equivalent uh, tab here, mod, there we have our compressor. So for example, as far as options go, if I click that down, you have a smorgasbord of different types of compressors. Boss, high band, light, decomp, orange, fat, mild, how much more do you need? And then as far as parameters go, um, obviously this will vary depending on which compressor and the sound of the compressor, but you have all the necessary parameters there. Get in there, dial that sucker up and be playing that funky music. This one doesn't really have much on there. Let's say we want some delay, damn it. Of course we want delay. As soon as I turn that up, you can see that it switches on one of these guys. And if I wanted to go through what the different options were, of course, again, I just click on the button. So let's say modulate, that's a, a fantastic kind of delay. Into the delay section, there's our modulation delay. There is all of our parameters, really, really simple. So this is so easy to set up, but it means once you've done this, each one of your patches is gonna have a ton of different sounds that you can play around with. And you can have one, two, three, four patches. Each one can have like six different options of your effects. And then you can save as many of these into the library as you want and just download them into your amp. Alrighty, why don't we have a bit of fun now then? So what did I just dial up? I threw a bit of delay on there. Let's check out, I pulled the delay back a little. And why don't we get into the booster section here and have a listen to some of these different overdrives. So, fat distortion. Who doesn't want some? That's not on because it's on the modulation side. However, the hiss tells us that it's on now. That is fat distortion. What are these metal zone? I haven't heard that for a while. Probably don't need to hear it again for a little while. Keep in mind that these are actually on the clean channel of the amp and I'm just piling the dirt on top of that poor innocent little channel. Let's go off there, let's go to modulation, but why don't we change over to, look, the brown channel I found to be most enjoyable. Let's check it out. That's more what we're talking about. Let's, uh, what is the bass doing on nothing? What was I thinking? Sorry, I apologize for being silly. Here. All right, modulation is where it's at for me, folks. So, uh, back to the effects modulation. Hey, it's actually a glorious univibe. Why don't we just do that? We're gonna just get to here, click over till we get to univibe land. <laughs> Big fan of the uni vibe myself. All right. What I love is that you can just quickly do this. You want to try out some effects that you've never heard before, of which, trust me, there's plenty. I'll tell you one that I really dig. I loved it when Boss had it in a pedal called the Slicer. The Slicer and Dicer. I'm going to turn the delay off for a second. Crank the gain up. And we're going to have a look at the Slicer here.
always thought this was cool. So this has a bunch of different patterns. As a matter of fact, 20. That's just crazy. Each one's a different rhythmic pattern. this doesn't cost you any more than the amp it's insane what were they thinking at Roland and boss they were thinking of us so that's really really cool uh, obviously I could be at this all day because it's what I love to do let me just have a quick flick through here you got your wah auto wah pedal wah uh, the octave wave sync pitch shifter look the harmonizer which is called the harmonist uh, is superb we're gonna have a very very quick listen to that because we've got to Let's see, very simple to set up too. It's in the key of C, otherwise known as A minor, A minor known as C major. You can either have one or two harmonies. See how that sounds weird? That's because we need to change the effects chain, which very cleverly they've given us that option. At this point, you're gonna want the section to be after the amplifier, not in front of it. Now it will sound like this. You sort of can't have that without loads of delay. sound so clever even when you're not um, if I go back to the modulation section here I'm gonna throw another harmony on top of that and you can adjust how much of that harmony you want so it doesn't have to be quite so over the top Whoopsies! I forgot to check what the harmony was we now have something very silly one octave below no we don't want that we're gonna go with a uh, look a sixth and a uh, third of some sort. What is this? Sorry about that. No, it didn't grab that one, did it? 